St. Vincent recognized that the needs of people are twofold. There's the physical need, but there's also the spiritual need. When you sit with a person, you are connecting them to God, and they are connecting you to God. It's not just the person who serves, it's the person who is served who serves the person who is served. It's reciprocal and it is holy. The mission of Meals on Wheels is to really serve those who are at most need. Hello, I'm Martin Sheen. And I'm here at the St. Vincent Meals on Wheels kitchen, where every day thousands of nutritious meals are prepared to be delivered to hungry, homebound Angelinos. It all began with founder sister Alice Marie Quinn, daughter of charity, serving a pot of stew to senior citizens in the basement of the Precious Blood Parish near downtown LA. Since those humble beginnings, St. Vincent Meals on Wheels has grown to serving nearly a million meals a year, making it the largest privately funded senior nutrition program in the United States. I'm Veronica Dover, and I'm the CEO and Executive Director at St. Vincent Meals on Wheels. St. Vincent Meals on Wheels is so much more than just nutritious food for seniors. Our food is absolutely 100% nutritious. The menus are curated and created by our registered dietitian, but the program is so much more than that. We really are the bridge that connects these homebound seniors to the rest of the world. And they rely on us for a lot more than the food that we bring. We look to help people who are forgotten. One person at a time, one helper at a time. Every single time we deliver a meal, we deliver love and we deliver the love of God. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Not only do we provide food for our seniors, we provide food for their pets. We bring them food and we bring them love, and that they are not forgotten, but cared about and connected to the community. And that's how it's more than a meal. So we're a privately funded Meals on Wheels program, and that's so important because it allowed us the flexibility during the pandemic to serve those who needed us and to expand as much as we needed to. The donations that they give really help us feed people who need it. Faced with every imaginable challenge during the COVID-19 pandemic, from senior centers and congregate meal sites closing suddenly, to families unable to visit their elderly relatives and bring food, the need for meal deliveries soared. Almost overnight, demand grew by nearly 60%, meaning thousands more meals needed to be prepared, delivered, and served every month. Not only did demand increase, but the meal preparation and delivery had to be conducted under new strict guidelines by the Departments of Public Health and the FDA. And the need hasn't stopped growing here in Los Angeles. It is thanks to the dedication of many, leadership, staff, volunteers, 
community leaders, and hundreds of individual donors whom Sister Alice Marie calls her Army of Angels. The organization continues to thrive for 45 years. So seniors who are on um, a senior meal program are, are seniors who are homebound in some way. So they have gotten to the point where they can't shop or cook for themselves. The staff or the volunteer that's bringing that food is the only person they see, maybe for that day or that week. So that's super important. If I didn't have their ability to help me now with my situation, with my knees, and having had the stroke and so forth, I would have been in a terrible situation. And it's a real big help, a real big help. Many people throughout history have been amazed and touched by the idea that God, whoever they envision God to be, is present in our world. And Vincent based his mission on the mission of the one who fed 5,000, feed the people, and taking two loaves and five fishes and distributing them among 5,000 people. We distribute the food that we have for people who may not have enough to eat. If it was just a regular delivery service, they would just leave it at the door and, and be gone and nobody would know anything. But because we see them every day, we know what's going on with them. And anything different, anything out of the ordinary, right away we call the office, we're trying to call emergency contacts, and we try and make sure that everything is okay with them or we can get in contact with them. Won't you join us in serving the sick and the poor in this city of angels to ensure that St. Vincent Meals on Wheels continues to thrive at 45? To donate, please visit www.svmow.org. And remember this when you're considering a donation. We serve ourselves best when we serve others first. And thank you.